Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Tutorials. In this one, we will check out the VLOOKUP using the case sensitive data. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. On this one, I have three sheets. Seed is where I will demonstrate. Deep dive is to explain things in detail and do it is for you to practice. So let me go into the seed sheet here. On this one, what I want is I want to run a VLOOKUP so that it goes and check for this value on this data set and get me the value of the second column. But if I run my standard VLOOKUP, it is not going to get me the exact value, but it will return me only the first value. Let me show you what I mean by that by running a standard VLOOKUP here. If I go ahead and type in VLOOKUP, I want to look up for this value and I want to look up that value inside this table. I will lock it up by pressing F4 on the keyboard, comma. I want the second column value if the lookup value is found in this data set. So I will insert number two. And for the exact match, I will insert zero and close the bracket. Now, if I press enter, it should actually get me the value which says camel because my value of lookup is in camel note. So if I just press enter, it's not considering that. It's actually considering this one. If I drag this down, look what happens. It is not going any further down. It's, it's getting me only this one. Now, how do I make the VLOOKUP respect my case sensitivity here? To do that, I will use two other functions in combination of my VLOOKUP. I will use the exact function inside the choose function. Now, before I go ahead and draft that up. Let me explain what happens here by typing in my exact function first. So what I am going to do here is I will run the exact function in this cell here to show you what happens when I run the exact function. So I want this value to be checked against this range of values. Close the bracket. So wherever that value is matched in that range, that will be set as true rest will be set as false so it will get me a single column array here there you go so you can see the value blue is matched here in the second instance so that's why the second instance is set as true and if i change this d3 to d4 this value is going to be set as true see let me show you that one if i just go ahead and change this to d4 see that so that's how this is working. I hope you're getting a hang of it. Now we are going to use this one inside the choose function and we will set a two dimensional array using the choose function. So here I will type in the choose function and what is the index number? So for the index number, I will open a flower bracket, one comma two, close the flower bracket. So that's the kind of index I want the choose function to build. And for the first value, I want it to run the exact function and look for this value. Look where? Look here. And I lock it up by pressing F4. And then I'll close the bracket for the exact function. Then comma. In the second set of column, that is the for the value 2, I want it to run on this one and set my second column there using that data. Then I lock it up, close the bracket. So what happens here is it will create a two dimensional array. The first dimension will be with this set of data where the exact match is checking for true or false based on the lookup value. And the second column is gonna be set just like what it is being shown in the column B. So I will just go ahead and press enter. You see that? So now if I change this to D4, the lookup value, it will switch my true value further down because this is where the match is happening. I, I hope you're getting a hang of it. So I will just copy this because I want this to go inside my VLOOKUP. So I will come here, type in my VLOOKUP, look for what? I want it to look for true value, true value where? I want it to run on the array that is going to be created dynamically 
using the choose function so I will just paste my choose function there and instead of d4 I'll change this to d3 because that's the adjacent value and when this array is being formed what should be returned the second column value uh, that is what I want and it should be exact match I will insert 0 and close the bracket now I got the camel node so if I just drag this down you can see it is respecting the case sensitivity of my data so if I go to the deep dive sheet here you will notice in the cell d3 this is the kind of array that is created for VLOOKUP to look for values so VLOOKUP is not exactly checking the values here instead it is checking the values here so in d3 the value true is found on this instance so that's the value it, that has been returned and in the second instance that is on um, d4 it is here on the third instance and the value that has to be returned is all caps and that's what is being returned here similarly on d5 you can see this is the array and the true value is found here on the fourth instance which is irregular and that's what is being returned here and similarly on d6 we have the true value that is on the second instance with the value camel and that's what has been returned here I hope you're getting a hang of it I know this is a complicated VLOOKUP. You will have to run it a few times to get used to it. And I'm confident once you practice it a few times, you will get used to it. And you will start using it just like another function. I want you to practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you so much. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.